let's go. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, my name is Ducky, and today we're going to be doing a review of the game Deadside. Um, before we get into it, this game is still in beta, and it's not a full release, so everything I say may be subject to change, and I am not sponsored by these guys, so uh, if you like the game, feel free to download it, but you'll find that it's not as far along as it seems. So let's get started. Um, I'd like to start with the good first. A few things that I really like about this game, and I think it does really well, is the graphics are beautiful. It really, when you step into the world, you'll know what I'm talking about, but it's great. It It's leagues above Daisy and even Tarkov, I would, I would say. Um, the movement, for the most part, is pretty good. One problem that I do have with it is the vaulting is not great, but that still may be a work in progress. Um, another thing that I really like about it is the guns. They have such a wide variety of them, and I feel like I'm never really without one, so it's easy to go run around and pick up a gun quickly and just get into combat if that's what you're into. Uh, I would say it's definitely a less intense version of DayZ. Now for the bad, it's certainly still a game that is a work in progress that is evident from the moment that you load into the world. Um, every once in a while you'll get like a graphical glitch and a visual glitch and the background won't look very nice, but again those things I assume will be fixed in the full release version, but that's not really a big deal, but what is is getting disconnected. I've played this game for about four hours, and I would say I've been disconnected maybe four or five times, which is, I think, in my opinion, that's a pretty big problem, especially for a game that's been in development for, or in beta for almost a year now. I feel like that's, those are some of the things that they need to really uh, nail down before they can move forward. The gunplay. The gunplay itself, um, it sounds satisfying, and I, the weapons are great, but your character sways too much and it there i have a couple of problems with that where i'll be aiming down sights at a at a target and i'll fire a burst and none of them will hit even if they were pointed directly at the target and that will cause you to die every once in a while just because your gun uh sways ambiently even if you're standing still you don't really have a stamina bar which leads to you being able to run infinitely and it's there's also a really weird glitch where you run faster when you're running uphill than you are uh, flat so that I I found that very strange when I was running around and exploring the world another problem that I had was with the AI it sometimes I would enter like a compound or a military base and they would spawn in like behind me and in areas that I've already uh, checked and cleared which in my opinion is a uh, pretty big problem for me at least just because i i think i'm safe and then some ai with a gun will just come up behind me and shoot me in the head and i'll die and that for me was a uh, overall though i'd say this game has a lot of promise and i would not buy it yet i would wait for it to be developed a little bit more maybe actually wait for the full release of it um the 20 dollars that they charge currently i feel is a little bit much for a game that has a lot of flaws and very little content but overall i wouldn't say that it's horrible it's just definitely a game in data yes, the music is a feel. 